All right, well, I'm going to go over some of these points here. He says, because these things are true, then evolution is true. So let's see about that. The fossil record. Well, the, the fossils don't have a, a date stamped on them, or they don't talk to tell us when, when they lived. You're assuming you know the age by your methods and that you can come up with the right date for each of these fossils. But... You, you can't be sure about that change in splitting fossils change okay how do you know they changed how do you how do you know they're not just different animals that's faith vestigial organs okay because we we don't have something that means that we're evolving to that's that's not that's not going up that's that's losing something that's not that's not gaining something. And these examples of the stigial organs have never been true, like the hind legs of a well. Those those bones are used for mating to get to get offspring. Now the quirks of development. I think he said that that whenever a human is born it has hair in the womb. And that's supposedly his proof for evolution. Well, that's that's hardly any proof. Let's see. Bad design. He's saying that because it hurts whenever women have babies, and it's a bad design. And let's see. We we know we know of God through the Bible. And what does the Bible say about that? Have you read it? That's not bad design. And I think he said, and even if it if it was bad design, how is that evidence for evolution? That's not evidence at all for evolution. Now, biogeography. Oh, one more thing on bad design. We have to remember two more things. Uh, we're, we live in a fallen world, and you would know that too if you had read the Bible, which is where you get the idea of design in the first place. And the second point is that we're we're a copy of a copy of Adam, copy of a copy of a copy of Adam. So for us to be able to think intellectually and say, I think this is a bad design, and you are the one thinking about it, and you are supposedly designed, how can you say that you, you aren't a bad design, but you can decide what's a bad design and also for you to be able to say something is a bad design i i think that you should be able to produce something greater first without using the resources of earth and then when your design is better then you can say it's a bad design otherwise you need to keep your mouth shut basically because you have no no authority. You, you haven't ever made something as good. But anyway, biogeography, I didn't really, to be honest, I didn't even look at that part. And examples of natural selection in real time. Well, natural selection is a top to bottom process. So you start with something up high and you, you see, natural selection doesn't create anything new. It, it just limits what you already have. So to say that it's evolution and you're getting better and better because of natural selection doesn't make sense at all. It's more like a, what's it called, a quality control. So just, we have all this, this is what he's saying stuff, here. All, each of these from a different area of biology. What does that mean? It means that you're perverse if you don't put this stuff together and say that evolution is true. And obviously we know that that statement is not true because of what I just said. Well, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.